have ceramics and sculpture and monuments that give us an idea of what the Maya were doing, how they were dressed, the types of jade ornaments they were wearing, tattooing and scarification on their faces, on their bodies. It was a method of display. There was a lot of elegance, even the way they chose. actually a lot of information of how the Mayans wore their empire. The challenging thing was how to interpret all this. Shocks and whole kings with these masks on it. It's, wow, that's amazing. To set all the different tones that we wanted to use, we made samples of all these colors from natural vegetables and animals that the Mayans used. For example, this beautiful red sienna comes from rojo cochinilla, and it gives you a variety of degrees of this kind of red. We also used indigo blue. So many hues in one single feather. And we actually were able to recreate a green that comes from bladder of animals. We're making costumes that nobody ever done. The prints that you see have to be recreated because they did it freehand. We did about 50 different designs, patterns, and embroidery that they have from those times. Every single thing that you see in this movie is hand sewn, handmade. You can't get any shortcuts because we shoot in five cameras all the time. It has to be perfect. The Mayans used a lot of jade. It was a symbol of wealth and happiness and trade and trust. <laughs> but for logistic reasons, we couldn't have all this made out of jade. So we have to learn how to paint all these light materials into jade, just hand painting them. All these bits are wood, and uh, we have to make it look like if it was jade. And it looks beautiful, just like jade. The Mayas viewed status through the use of jade, exotic commodities like shell and mother of pearl.
But one of the most obvious things was the use of jade ear spools. So it would perforate the earlobe, a, a small piece of jade in, and then gradually expand that until it was able to accommodate a large ornament. is at a place where he can take those chances. Some of the things that you will see in this film, you will never have seen before. The costume that I wear is so mythic. It belongs in every culture of a warrior society. But as soon as I put all of that leather armor on, I completely just, whoosh, you know, become this character. It's like, oh my God, what is this? This is this an animal or a man? There's no work required other than to wear the costume. Raul, signal those guys to move out. It's like Mel says, you don't have to be scary. You are scary. Try to look just straight out with your face. I mean, it is so, that's ominous.